Today, we'll be going over greater than, less than, and two story problems. Materials needed, something to write with, and a piece of paper. Hi there, everybody. We are on math lesson number seven today. We will be doing um, greater than, less than again, and two story problems around Alasia today. Um, what we're gonna do before we get started on our greater than, less than, I'm gonna show you um, a picture of how I want the kids to set up um, the greater than, less than activity on their paper. They're gonna draw it, and then, um, and then we'll get started, all right? Here is what my paper looks like right now. I have a line, a square in the middle, and then another line. This is um, how I want your kids to set up their paper. So go ahead, if you can, pause the video so they can draw their lines and their squares so we are ready for our greater than, less than. So I am going to write two numbers, one number here and one number here. I would like the kiddos at home to do that as well. Then we're gonna talk about which way the alligator's mouth is facing for greater than, less than. So on the first number line, we're gonna write the number 11. And on the next line, we're gonna write 13. Go ahead and write 11 and 13. All right, so which number is greater? Is 11 or 13 greater? 13 is greater than 11. So we're gonna draw the alligator's mouth facing the 13. Next one, let's write the numbers. 27 and 17. 27 and 17. Which one is greater? If you think you know, go ahead and draw the alligator's mouth in the middle box. Yep, 27 is greater than 17. Next two numbers we're gonna write, 26 and 20. Four. 26 and 24. Go ahead, write those numbers in the, the lines. Which one is greater? Is 26 greater than 24? Or is 24 greater than 26? Go ahead and draw in your alligator mouth. 26 is greater than 24. Two more. Let's write in, we're getting higher here, 29 and 30. 29 and 30. Which one is greater? Draw in the alligator mouth facing the greater number, the bigger number. 30 is greater, so tw this reads 29 is less than 30. Last one, 30, 33, and 44. 33, 44, right in the alligator mouth for which one is greater. 44 is greater than 33. So if you're reading from left to right, 33 is less than 44. Good work, everybody. Now we'll move into our story problem section about Alasia, all right? Because I was able to stop at school and get supplies, I was able to get a whiteboard. Um, but you guys can use paper, all right, to draw your story problem and your equation. Um, I'm gonna start out with having my equation line ready on the bottom. So if you guys wanna go ahead and draw this too on the bottom, you can have that ready to go. So then as we draw our story problem on the top, you can write in your numbers too. Mm -hmm. All right. Or if you just wanna write it without the lines, you can do that too. So the first part of our story problem. 
Alasia had four Barbie dolls. Alasia had four Barbie dolls. I know she likes to play with those at Free Choice. So we're gonna draw our four Barbie dolls, right? And as we go, remember, you guys can fill in the numbers in your number sentence below. So Alasia had four Barbie dolls. She got six more Barbie dolls. She got six more Barbie dolls. So are we gonna draw more or take away? If she got six more, we're gonna add more, right? That more word is important. And am I gonna add them next to my four or below my four? I'm gonna add the six more below, right? So she started with four and she got six more. How many Barbies does she have now? All together, how many Barbies does she have now? All right, we are gonna start working on writing our equation now, okay? So how many Barbies did Alasia start with? That's right on the top there, right? How many Barbies did Alasia start with? Four. How many more did she get? Six. Equals, how many did she have all together? A, a quicker way to count these would be, I know that this is four, don't I? I don't need to count all those. I'm gonna count on from four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now, am I gonna put a plus or a minus in the box? Did we add for plus or did we cross off take away? We added plus, correct? My marker's not working very well. Let's read our equation. Four plus six equals 10. Good work. Let's get our next paper ready for our next story problem. Right, here we go with the next story problem. Uh, and I think Alasia likes to eat Takis. They're like a Cheeto, okay? So Alasia had 11 Takis, 11 Takis. So they're like a Cheeto. So we're gonna draw Alasia's 11 Takis. And remember, we wanna make sure we know and we um, check to make sure we have only 11 Takis, right? So I'm gonna go back and whisper count and check to make sure I have just 11 on my paper. I have 11. So, and I have them in a nice neat row. If you can't fit them in one nice neat row, that's okay. As long as they're not too sloppy, right? So Alasia had, Alasia had 11 Takis. She gave eight of them to her sister. She gave eight of them to her sister. So are we gonna cross off or are we going to add more? Well, if we were listening carefully, I said she gave away eight, right? Away means cross off, taking away. She gave eight to her sister. So I'm gonna cross off eight. She gave eight to her sister. How many Takis does she have left? How many Takis does she have left? So I have my eight crossed off that she gave to her sister. And how many she has left are the ones without the crosses on them, right? So now I'm gonna go on the bottom and I'm gonna write my equation. Why don't you guys, if you haven't done so yet, start writing your equation to match this. How many she started with, how many she gave her sister and how many she had left. Let's see if we can get the same thing. All right, so my equation looks like this so far. 11, eight equals three. So did we add more? or did we cross off? 
We crossed off. It's a minus subtraction. 11 minus 8 equals 3. 11 minus 8 is 3, right? Good work. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow for math lesson number 8. Have a good day.